I'm standing here at Lawrence Square right in front of Miss Mays at the club where a year ago we came looking for Hornets fans, looking for some insight from the locals and we found nothing. Today the place is full of Hornets fans. As you can see the kids are having a great time. The Hornets have totally come into this, uh, this dilapidated park and brought new life to it and now the Hornets have a new uptown location for their youngest players to start training and uh, getting ready for the future. Welcome to Lawrence Square. And greetings this afternoon from the New Orleans Hornets and the National Basketball Association. My name is Sean Kelly. Today we gather here to officially open this beautiful new basketball court at Lawrence Square. Our goal was to provide our children and this community a place to play and fellowship in a beautiful setting and a safe place. And I think you'll agree that we've accomplished our goal here today. First and foremost, we want to thank our partner in this project with Richard's Disposal, who helped the New Orleans Hornets make all this happen for you. Hornets community initiatives are grounded in our efforts to provide education and lifestyle opportunities to promote long and healthy, healthy and happy lifestyles education through healthy eating habits, places to play, and education about being physically fit. And so today, one of the large pieces of our foundation becomes yours here in this part of our community. We have many here with us today to help us celebrate and officially open this new playground. And as we mentioned, Richard's Disposal is our primary partner in this project. And here to say a few words from Richard's disposal today is the man himself, Mr. Alvin Richard. Thank you everyone for coming out today for this joyous occasion. I'd like to thank all of you for being here, especially our council person, uh, Diana Dejoir, and from Nord, uh, Mr. Richards, and the other staff that's here. of us are here, and then the idea is this is the area that we service for the city of New Orleans, and it's an area that we pass by daily, every day, to look at to see the kids playing in the basketball court here. Over the years, this area had died down somewhat, but today it looks like it's really being rejuvenated and coming back, and it's a joyous occasion to see all these kids coming out to play today to dedicate this uh, basketball court, and we pray that the community will come back and support the kids in this area, give them a place to sit down and enjoy the community and that everyone can come back together and maybe we can eliminate some of the crime that's happening in our area by all the families and kids coming back together as friends. So we thank each and every one of you for coming here today to celebrate this joyous occasion. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Richard. Here with me today to also represent the New Orleans Hornets is Senior Vice President of Basketball Operations and Hornets General Manager, Del Demps. Good afternoon, good afternoon. Um, first of all, the New Orleans Hornets and myself personally would like to thank Mr. Alvin Richards for providing this basketball court for our community. I mean, refurbishing basketball court to give kids an opportunity to come back into their own communities play basketball, to give them an outlet for sports, to stay healthy, and also just have a place to have fun. And so I want to sincerely from my heart and from the New Orleans Hornets thank Mr. Alvin Richards. And when I see these kids out here, I see myself. And I was a kid that grew up playing in the basketball court. And I just think that's just great. And I've actually played pickup games out here. And for Mr. Richards to give back to the community is big. And Hornets, we like to partner with people. For Mr. Richards to be from New Orleans and to give back to his community, we cannot say enough. And so I would just like to say thank you for, on behalf of the Hornets. Um, I'm just excited about the opportunity to see this court. I actually drove by here this weekend and took a look and I saw people out here playing and I can't wait to get back out here and start playing. And so I want to say thank you um, to all the kids out here. Make sure you guys get an opportunity to thank Mr. Richards and for everybody in the whole community, we just want to say thanks and we're glad to be a part of it. Thank you very much. Thank you, Del. One of the primary tenants, of course, here at Lawrence Square, who will be providing programming and everything else, of course, is Nord. And here to speak to you today from Nord is the CEO, Mr. Vic Richards. All right, thank you. 
Okay, how about it for Mr. Richard and Richard's disposal? But even more so, how about for the hive? What about the hornet? I believe, I believe this is the 11th or 12th facility that the hornets have put their corporate name on and for a, a professional sports organization to give back every day, but to give back without being asked. And, and that's the story I want you all to know. Dell will call, or someone in the team will call, Dan will call and say, hey, we want to do this, or what do you think about that? We have never had to call the Hornets to ask them, hey, would you be interested in this? Would you like to lend your name? Would you like to lend your credibility to make our community better? I don't know if you know it last year, I don't know how much money they spent on buying a brand new, tricked out, mobile reading bus that they've been taking all over the city without being asked. I've, I've worked with the Hornets, the Saints, the Phillies, the Flyers, the 76ers, and the Eagles. This is the first professional sports organization that has always knocked on my door versus us having to knock on that door. And I guess that's why I'm proud to say what I'm saying right now and also the, the work that Dell and the rest of the organization has done. So don't take all of the things that they've done for you all for granted. Tell all your friends about all of the good things and how life is becoming to be better and continue to grow and have a good time. Hopefully you all had a great, great summer. Summers will be over in another week. So I know you all are going back to school real soon and continue to um, be the young people and follow the sacrifices that your parents and your coaches and the council person and Mr. Richard and everyone else is doing for you. So I'm very proud to be a part of the Hornets team. I'm very proud to be back home. I'm very excited about where we're moving our city and moving it to what it deserves to be, better than it was before the storm. So thank you, Hornets. Thank you, Mr. Richard. And, and it's funny for me to call the senator council person, because I've been calling the senator since I was a kid in high school. So God continue to bless you all, and let's continue to make life better for all of our city. Thank you. Thank you, Vic. I just want to take a moment real quick and recognize others who are here with us today, other than our speakers. Of course, we've all already recognized the council member, Ms. Diana Bajwa today. And did you want to say a few words, council member? I'm just going to say thank you to all of you for everything you're doing. And I'm looking at the basketball players out here, and I know one of them real good. Uh, but uh, you, you're the next stars. Let's give a big hand to the Hornets, fellas and young ladies. This is a great part, and it's going to be even greater. And I just want to say thank you, and I'm just going because it's real hot, I don't want to keep it. <laughs> thank you, Councilwoman. Uh, Ernest Foster is also here today. He's the new athletic director of NORD. He's seven days on the job, and we're going to get him to work real quick here. And, of course, Hugo is here, and Ginger and Rachel from the Honeybees here today as well. At you tell time. me about Hornets 24. <laughs> you, want me to, you want to interview me? Yeah, uh, I, I never heard it. Hornets blog, it's the biggest one by far. We're ESPN affiliated. Wow. We're, uh, wow. Yeah, All right. cool. We're, uh, I've been credential for a while. Good. I do Hornets Report too, if you heard of that. It's the biggest Hornets forum. Mm -hmm. So combined, we get a lot of people. So are you the guy running through the stands at the games too? I'm not, unfortunately. Okay. Oh, maybe I am. Uh, I'm the guy running from the press tables up to where I used to be because there's a lot of fans. But. All right, well, cool. Well, <laughs> anyway, that's it. congrats. Cool. Yeah, thank you. Well, you, congratulations to you. This is awesome. Um, I live right around the corner, so this is really cool for me. I've watched this um, this court kind of be in disrepair for a long time, and I've seen mm -hmm. kids kind of out here. We're playing on it anyway. Um, can you tell me about how this court specifically came to be one of the one of the projects that you worked on with? You know, as, as, as I stated earlier in my remarks, the, the great thing about working with the Hornets is you don't call them. You don't have to call them. So, you know, Dell will pick up the phone and call, or Shelly may pick up the phone and call. At the time, Hugh would pick up the phone and say, hey, man, we, we're looking at this. And then at the same time, they're following the community the pulse of the community and, and the Hornets are like, well, you guys are going there. What can we do to enhance it? Or if not, for a, for a prime example, Digby Playground in the East, you know, a year and a half ago. 
the Hornets jump started that entire park by approaching the city and north to say, hey, this is what we would like to do. What do you believe you can do? And then from there, you had the Marriott, the Hornets, Kaboom, you had the firemen. And you know, six years after the storm, because of the leadership of the Hornets uh, and, their, and their corporate citizenship, you, you brought one back. So that story is identical right here. It was just, you know, a 30 second conversation to say, look, they got a lot of volume up here. We want to do this one. What do you think about this one? Is this one in a plan? And if you look across the street, you can see, you know, you got new playground and, and the green space over. It just made sense. So it, it was a no-brainer. I mean, you all right now are doing the exact same thing down in the lower nine. You know, uh, last year was the first time since the storm that the lower nine ever had water, uh, an aquatics facility for the general public. Mm -hmm. You know, they said, you know what, we in. We in. So. New playground structure was built. The city got all the lights back on. The Hornets right now is doing the same thing in the lower nine at San Bonar Playground. The pool is operating, and now the clubhouse is almost finished. I mean, is it? You know, and that's in 12 months. Is it to some degree like, you said you've worked in other areas around the country with other mm -hmm. sports teams that have been less hospitable, I guess you could say. Mm -hmm. Is this like kind of I don't, the I don't, dream for I someone in your situation? I wouldn't, I wouldn't say hospitable, less, but as a, aggressive, to say, you know what, this is our town, and, and we need to know that our town is our town, and that we care about our town. So, you know, it's nonstop with the Hornets. You know, last year, look, we want to buy, how many, all the kids need basketball jerseys new. I mean, hell, they bought 800 of them, and, and, and ship them. So, it, the Hornets is New Orleans. Yeah. And that's all I can say. I mean, you're not. I, I, you know, I, not I'm with you, man. I, I really think that the Hornets. Have done and I'm not just saying that because I'm out here. I'm saying it because I've been all over the U.S. and I've worked with other teams. Let's go, Pete. Let's go. They on the front. They, they claim they town and they show it with their pride. Whether it's day or night, I mean, Dan's out in the middle of the night running midnight basketball at St. Bernard Rec Center at 10, 11, 12 o'clock on a Saturday night. It's the Hornets. <laughs> awesome. That's all I got to say. <laughs> I'm done.